You gonna get on, Oppa? Looks like he's gonna hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. Find my shoes. Oh, there's one. We need a shoe rack. Really bad. Walking. Got your vest on. Of course, everyone's awake when we leave. Uh oh. Time to get inside the shoes. to go get some ducks because he hasn't been out hiking in a long time. If we let him go he would jump right in the water. I fell in the water here when I was little a bunch of times. I would be like looking like this and I would just fall right in. Did you get muddy? Yes. I'm going back up on the trail? We were gonna get our engagement photos done here today. But I need more preparation. You need to shave that beard thing you got going on. You gotta come up with the outfits. We gotta bring the ferrets. It's a whole ordeal. Maybe next time. This is where I would fall in the most, Bry. In this in this area here. Pretty. We just got done, oh, well, a little bit ago, taking Gen to the park. I've been working on cleaning my parents' house because it is very cluttered, very disorganized. Been doing like one room at a time. I did the living room, kitchen, and the I did the office today, which I didn't film any, but I should have because it would have been very satisfying to watch, but I'll put up a before and after photo of what I did. And I could only do so much because my dad has a stack of like six computers in the corner of the office. He's the type of person to have a really difficult time like um, letting go of digital products because um, even if like the hole is busted, the, you can still generally use a lot of the parts like in the uh, computer towers and whatnot. So that's all stuff that's really, really hard to throw out. We have like printers and all that. So I just kind of had to move stuff around and um, put boxes together for him to go through. But yeah, that was fun. It did not take me as long as I thought it would. I'm going to be going to the barn. And I'm going on a trail ride with the barn owner. I'm excited to see Iroh. It's been a couple days. I'm unable to go out as often as I would like just because I'm working so, so hard. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video on money management for ferrets, <laughs> I've been working really, really hard to, you know, pay off uh, some vet bills that I had a couple months ago. 
and just really want to get on top of that. Look, I wrote your friend. Is that your friend? <laughs> That's beautiful. The second I'm on the buckle, he's like, oh. Freedom! He's got ice in the back of his head. Yeah. He's like, oh, we're going home, I know it. Bye. Iroh did so well for our trail ride. Did you, bud? Said yes. Yes, I did. Let me eat your arm. He was so good. And he looks so nice in his English tack. Very fancy. now Brian is at work and I want to make a really nice dinner and dessert with the ingredients that we have on hand. We're trying not to go grocery shopping that much. We used to be the type of people who like every week we would go and blow like $200-$300 at the grocery store on like just snacks, 
desserts like frozen food we used to spend so much money and now we're trying to save and be a little bit better at buying things at the grocery store buying more functional items um so we're trying to see how long we can go without needing to go to the grocery store again um but i'm able to make cream of broccoli soup really excited about that might not have enough broccoli but we'll see might have to use something else i don't know and then also i will be making for dessert because we have the ingredients for that a cinnamon swirl pound cake loaf and i will put the recipes in the description if you want to make them as well and we'll see how they turn out i for one i'm a pretty decent cook but i'm very very bad at baking so i'm trying to get more into baking things uh, desserts and whatnot because i can make a mean dinner but cookies and cakes and stuff that's my weakness i'm so bad at doing those things so we'll see how that turns out they began his dinner but he's like don't you have more any more for me so i i don't have a lot of broccoli i'm supposed to have four cups for this soup but i found some spinach and spinach good in soup it cooks down really nicely so this will help add some more vegetables Okay, so it ended up turning out really good. Um, as you can see, it's like really kind of chunky and that's because I don't have a blender. I just have the hand mixer. It actually works out because Brian hates like super, super blended soups. What I had to end up doing was just make a roux and it made it a lot thicker. Let's see. That is so good. Oh, and she does it again. I don't know if Brian's gonna like it because he doesn't like like thick soups. He doesn't like creamy soups. He's really weird about that kind of stuff, but more for me. He is ridiculous. This is what he does when I cook again. You watching me cook? You can't have any soup, nor can you have any cinnamon cake thing. Sorry. This is his spot. You usually have it covered with a blanket because I don't want it to become doggy and gross. Mmm. What a rough life this dog leads, let me tell you. Give up. Good boy. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like he's gonna poop again. Sometimes he has like little poops. Keep coming. Again? Okay, good. You got the lead. Oh. Thought he would like to play on the bike things, but. Gibba! Oh. Dirt. Need some dirt, bud? Give up. Want the ball? Come here. The boy. Whoa. Whoa. Say hi, Brian. Hi. Where are we right now? The park. The park. We just threw the ball for again. Today is Monday, right? Yep. Monday. And so he's nice and tired. And we saw a guy with his hawk. That was pretty cool. So yeah, and then now I'm gonna go to my parents' house and work on another room of the house, Lily's room, which is the worst room. And then I have to thaw meat and then go to the Asian market. Woohoo! And Brian gets to stay home and relax. Oh, I have work. But he has work later, so. Long shift. Long shift? Oh, 
long shift, right Gen? Oh yeah, long shift. Hey there, I am on my way, well I will be, on my way to the Asian market to get food for Sedona and Gen. Um, so it's a doggy shopping trip. Sedona's prep, I have pork bone, ground pork, kidney liver, uh, mackerel, rabbit, veggie, and fruit blend, and then there's chicken feet and green lip mussels and a bunch of them as well. Not as much variety as I would like, but because of her allergies, we are quite limited. Yes, we are. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Yeah, we prepped for quite a while. Can we pop? <gasps> Good job. Can you spin? Yay. Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you, speak? Can you touch? <laughs> You're such a good girl. Finally home and done for the day. It has been a very long but productive and fun day. It was a very good day. I had fun today and got a lot done that I needed to do. However, I still have to prep for again. I don't technically need to do that today though. I have my lunch prepared for tomorrow, which is always like a thing. I always have to make sure I have my lunch ready for work, which is my soup leftovers that I made. Tonight, I don't have to worry about making dinner, which is nice. Uh, Brian currently works in the food industry, so he's able to bring home free food during the week, which is awesome. So that's great, but he doesn't come home until like 9.30, so I have to eat something else. <laughs> but I've been doing, we've been going pretty strong in the, on the no groceries thing, just kind of trying to drain everything that we have so we don't go to the grocery store and splurge on, excuse me, on unnecessary items. But yeah, basically for the rest of the night, I am going to, well, I have to feed the dog. Now he's sitting nicely. He knows it's almost F-O-O-D time. I'm going to give him his dinner and then also the ferrets and I'll show you what I've been feeding the ferrets lately. It's a little bit different from what I've been feeding, just purely out of convenience and I wanted to switch up their daily routine. So let's go feed the animals, shall we? I'm going to plate Gen's dinner now if you'd like to watch. So Gen is fed twice a day with different foods. I had already prepped for him so like supplements and whatever else he needs is already in the containers. I don't have to do much thinking. So I have some pork heart here, some chicken feet. And like I said, again, he is fed twice a day with different foods. I've got green lip mussel, some kidney, some more heart with chia seeds, and then some tripe. So I don't generally need to add anything to the meals at feeding because I try to do as much as I can during the prep. So it saves me on time and thinking. So I'm just going to add water to this or bone broth if I have it, I don't today. So I'm gonna add water and then serve it as is. And then for the ferrets, I have Darwin's, which I've talked about in the past. I used to feed this. This is not like their staple diet by any means because it is quite expensive. However, I do like to switch up the brands of meat and grinds that I give them just for variety's sake and to keep things interesting. So I was trying to get away with doing one pack twice a day, so one pack per meal, but it has not been enough for them. I think mostly because it is going into winter and the ferrets are eating more than normal. So I've been doing a pack and a half per meal. So we've got the 
turkey and I do like the Darwin's grinds. I mean, they're not like my absolute favorite. I do like um, other brands a lot more because Darwin's does use synthetic ingredients and they don't have a whole lot of variety. Like for cats, they only have, I shouldn't have taken that whole lid off, but they only have chicken, turkey, and lamb. And Momo, of course, cannot have lamb. So I'm limited to chicken and turkey and then my grinds from my pet carnivore that I give them as well. But if they do end up eating all this, because they've been eating quite a lot, I will give them some of that chunked rabbit tonight. And I'm going to add water to this as well and serve it. I am going to say goodnight though because the rest of the night I'm just going to probably take a bath and watch a movie. And thank you for coming along with me the past two days. And I plan on continuing to vlog. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.